Hello, what's going on everybody? This is Jay from Maji and Jay, and today we got here the review video of the Qbot S168, which I got from gearbest.com. The link is going to be provided down below so that you guys can check it out. And I paid exactly $100 for this device, which in my personal opinion, I believe that it is absolutely worth it. It is very economical. This is going to be running the MTK6582. It is a quad core processor clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. It has a five inch QHD display, but a resolution of 960 by 540. And it's also IPS because I'm viewing angles we have very nice colors as we can notice right here on the front we're going to see the ear speaker the proximity and light sensor together with the 5 megapixel front facing camera on the bottom we can see here we have the menu key the home key and also the back key if you look on the left side it's going to be plain on the bottom we just have the microphone on the right side we have the power button together with the volume rockers on the same side and on the top you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack together with the charging slash data port on the back we're going to see the 8 megapixel rear facing camera with the led flash you also got the keyboard logo and finally the loudspeaker which is absolutely outstanding and now we're going to remove here the back cover now you guys got to be extremely careful with doing so because you can crack this back cover easily and here we have the battery this is going to be a 1900 milliamp battery now considering that this is only the mtk6582 and it has a qhd display with a resolution of 960 by 540 it is going to last you the whole day depending on the usage that you're going to put on the phone on the back here, we can see that this is a dual stand, dual standby device. Also supports TF cards in case you guys want to upgrade the memory. Also, we can see here the Cuba branding. It comes with the uh, actual model and all the bands supported. And again, here we have the IMEI information for both SIM cards. And again, guys, this is working absolutely phenomenal, especially for the price of it. You guys really can't ask for more. And even the build quality around the device, it is very nice and firm. I'm overall satisfied with the build quality of this device. So now let's go ahead and install the battery and see here the boot logo, which we saw already on the unboxing, but I know that a lot of people haven't seen it. So for those who haven't, I'm just gonna go ahead and power on. Here we have the Cubalt logo. And now I'm just gonna show you guys here how loud the speaker is. There we go. And here we have the boot screen. It is displaying the time, the date, and also here we have four options when unlocking the device. You can access the camera, the phone, you can also just unlock it or access the internet. And this device, it is also supporting gestures. So basically if your phone, let's say is asleep like this, you can just make a gesture on the screen and let's say letter C, I believe it's gonna take us here to the camera. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work guys. It just works when it really wants to. That's the only downside of it that even though I have it turned on and it is supposed to be working, it is not all the time. Here we can see the UI of the system. This is going to be running the Android KitKat 4.4.2. And we're going to confirm that here on settings. If you go all the way to the bottom, we're going to see that yes, this is even though it is claiming to be the 4.4, that's not correct. It's in fact the Android 4.4.2. And that's also great because we know that a lot of these devices have the fake operating system, but in this particular model, it is not. And as a matter of fact, I have installed Google camera just to further prove that yes, this is the Android KitKat. Here from the Intuitive Test Benchmark, I got a great score of about 18,000, which in fact, it is normal for the MTK6582. And we are about to see that in just a moment. As you guys can see, I got 18,401. If you go here to details, you guys can feel free to read all the details about the scoring. If you go back once, we go to devices information, we can see the branding. We also have the model, the Android version, the MTK6582. And this time everything appears to be correct. Nothing has been faked on here. And that's also great. We can see here some of the sensors supported. Now we don't have many this time. And maybe it's because the Chinese are trying to keep it cost effective. If you go here to the sensor Android box, we're going to see all the sensors supported. We only have the accelerometer, the light sensor, proximity sensor, and the sound sensor, which is basically the microphone on the bottom. And with that being said, the next thing we're gonna do here is test the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth on this device is working perfectly well. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and wait the device here briefly. Right now I'm using it on grams so that we can see that this phone is not the heaviest, but it's not the lightest either. Right now it's about 156 grams. So there you can see guys that it does feel kind of firm on your hands, especially when grabbing it. You don't feel like you're grabbing a cheap device, even though it is very economical. It also comes with cases, as you can see right here, and it comes with a screen protector, which I have already installed. I don't know if you guys can notice, but that's also great. So let's put this aside. And here we have finally the Bluetooth speaker. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And I believe it has power. Let's put it on parry mode. Now on the device, we're going to go to settings, Bluetooth. Let's turn it on and let's see how fast it's going to pair with the actual Bluetooth speaker. And there we see guys that right now it is currently pairing. All right, and right now it has paired. So the next thing we're gonna do, let's go back once. 
Let's go to other profiles, settings. And the reason I only test the ringtones is because of copyright uh, materials. We know that we really can't play music on YouTube, otherwise I can get in trouble. But here we have some of the ringtones. Let's go ahead and test it and check the quality. Notice the response time, it is great. And now that we have power off the speaker, let's go ahead and test the speaker on the device. As you guys can tell, the speaker is absolutely outstanding. I've never seen a loudspeaker like this one. Alrighty guys, and there we have it for the sound test. The next thing we're going to do on this device is test the GPS. So please check the next footage and let me know what you think. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jay and here we are performing a GPS test of the Cubot S168. And as you guys can notice, it is working perfectly well. The great news is that you don't have to root it or do any type of customization to the system in order to get it working. It comes like this out of the box. And now we're going to test it from inside of the house. If you go here to the GPS test, which I have right here, we're going to see how fast this is going to lock a signal. And again, I'm inside of the house and we can see already how strong the GPS is. It's only viewing about nine satellites. And it is very fast and effective. And the great thing is that even though I already rooted the device to install some applications directly to the system like YouTube, you don't have to do so. It comes like this right out of the box. So you don't have to worry about rooting or doing any type of hacks to the phone in order to get it working, which in my opinion, I think is very good because a lot of people do not like or prefer to root the device uh, because it's kind of inconvenient. You know, you're already buying a phone and you're expected to work out of the box. Um, and also we got here the camera, the camera on this phone, the back is going to be the 8 megapixel rear facing camera and the front is going to be five. So let's go ahead and test it and let me know what you guys think. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jay and here we are testing the Cubot S168 camera. This is the 8 megapixel rear facing camera. And we can see that the overall focus, the colors appear to be very nice for an 8 megapixel rear facing camera. And again guys, this is only a $100 device. I think it's performing very well. And we can see that the overall stabilization is also great. And now we're going to test the 5 megapixel front facing camera. And finally we got the 5 megapixel front facing camera of the Cubot S168. And as you guys can notice it is working perfectly well. The colors, the focus, and the overall saturation of the picture appear to be very nice. Alrighty, and there we have it for the camera test and here we have the actual UI It's just basic for Android as you guys can notice right here If you go to settings we're going to confirm here that the rear facing camera is in fact 8 megapixels as you guys can see right here And right now I have it to the max and the front facing camera Even though a lot of devices are faking it this device does have a 5 megapixel sensor on the front And we can see here guys that the overall quality appears to be very nice now the colors are a little bit different They're changed a little bit uh, some of the colors are a little bit washed out but for the most part it is working and also if we go here to settings we go to the camera we can see that yes this is in fact a 5 megapixel front facing camera and again guys it is working absolutely phenomenal as you just saw from that test the next thing we have here is going to be the browser i believe that right now i'm connected to the wi-fi and the wi-fi reception is also great on this device let's go here to the browser and test it right now I have ebay open we're going to also check out here let's say youtube let me try to type it better now, even though the uh, keyboard is okay, I mean, sometimes you get some mistypes and maybe it has to be calibrated somehow. Uh, let's go ahead and open here YouTube once again. And this is obviously using Wi-Fi, so I get about 15 megabits of download speed here at the house. So it's obviously going to work well. Now, this phone, like I said before, it is supporting 3G here with AT&T. So let's say we turn off the Wi-Fi, we're going to notice that on the top, we get here H+. Let's go ahead and reload YouTube using just the 3G network. And there we can notice guys that it is working well. Now it does delay a little bit more than Wi-Fi, but that's expected. Let's go ahead and open here eBay. And we're going to see that again, it is not 4G LTE like I like to say, but at least it's working well for the most part. Now the next thing we're gonna do here is go ahead and play with some applications and games that I have downloaded to the device. So please enjoy the music in the background.
Press One. Para español, presión de dos. Alright guys, and there we have it for the testing of this device and as you can see it is not disappointing whatsoever especially being such an economical device I think that a lot of people are going to be very satisfied now just have in mind guys that the only downsides of this phone is going to be three of them and first of all we don't have a notification LED on the top also on the bottom the menu key the home key and the back key they do not light up and the resolution is only going to be a QHD display with a resolution of 960 by 540 Another downside of this device is the gesture work. The gesture work doesn't work all the time. And we're going to confirm that right now here on gesture, you guys can see I have about four of them enabled, including the letter C, the E, the M, and the O. Now the letter M appears to be working well for the most part, and the M is going to be to open the actual music. Now the letter O, sometimes when I type it, it doesn't work, or you have to be extremely precise, as you guys can see right there. And also the letter C doesn't work as well, even though they are enabled. But other than that, I think that for the price of this device, it is absolutely worth it. You guys are going to be very satisfied with it. And like always, guys, if you do have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. Please like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and have a good one.